Hello and welcome to our Farming Simulator 17 mod showcase. More realistic mod, a quite extensive modification of the driving physics of the game, but not only. It is done by mainly one person, calling himself Dural, active on the fs-uk.com forums. Now, this mod has gathered quite a fanbase over the years and it was sadly missing in Farming Simulator 15, making its final comeback for version 17. The primary part of this mod is focusing on the vehicles and implements of the game and how they interact with the world. For example, vehicles and their content now have real masses, so pulling stuff actually needs the appropriate power. But that's not all. There's a second component to the mod changing some gameplay aspects. Crop yields got rebalanced, prices adjusted and the time to do certain things like unloading actually matter now. The good thing, it's your choice. Both modules, the engine and the gameplay one, come in separate files, so it's up to you on how you want to enhance your game. The first module, the MR engine file, changes the physics of the vehicles and their interaction with the world. It's quite easy to see the difference once you directly compare MR with vanilla FS17. Here you see a tractor pulling a full trailer up the slope. From the appearance alone something seems wrong, not matching what you would expect in real life. But it's a game after all, so you just deal with it. Well, let's do the same with the MR engine enabled. And of course, this little tractor can pull this huge weight up the slope. It's just physically impossible. See, that's what MR does. It doesn't make the game more difficult, it rather restores what you intuitively would expect to happen anyways. Bigger implements require bigger machines. That's how it works. The same goes for other activities, groundwork for example. In the vanilla game, Basically, any tractor can somehow pull any plow, even if it does slow it down. With MR enabled, the traction is so low that it just won't work, as you would expect. The same goes for weight distribution. In vanilla you can lift a heavy plow with the smallest tractor, without using a counterweight. With MR enabled, this does not work, as you would expect you need a counterweight to balance everything out. This mod also changes the driving characteristics of vehicles in multiple ways, but there are two things to point out that you will notice immediately. First, acceleration and stopping power are now way less direct than in vanilla. In the stock game, every vehicle starts and stops like a race car. It doesn't really matter what you have behind you, even on a slope with a huge weight pushing you, there is no real need to pay any attention. In most cases, the engine brake alone is enough to stop you. MR restores the natural behavior of vehicles. They need some time to accelerate and with weight behind them, you need to brake earlier and more. The engine brake is still there, but way less influential than before. The second thing you will notice is vehicle stability. In Farming Simulator 17 you need to go quite wild on your vehicles to make them tip over. Not so with MR enabled. Let's look at a comparison again. Any tractor in stock configuration has basically no tipping point. You can go 40 kph and make a sharp turn and nothing will happen. You can even stop at nearly 90 degrees and it will stay glued to the surface. MR changes that. Now even a normal tractor has quite a high center of mass. Make a sharp turn at max speed and it could tip over. Do that with a loaded trailer attached to it and it surely will. There are also a few other things that influence vehicle performance but are less noticeable. Your tire choice now matters, so wide tires or dual tire configurations provide more traction on the field. If you ever decide to work on wet ground during a rainstorm, you will lose traction too which can have quite an impact. Fuel consumption is now tied to power consumed. 
in vanilla it just depends on RPM, meaning simply going full speed consumes more fuel than working with an implement on the field. This is now different. Another change you will notice is how harvesters work. In the base game they take in anything up to a certain speed, even if you attach a larger header to them. They have no work capacity. The limit comes from the speed limit determined on the tool. This is of course not how it should work at all and is basically an exploit in the game. With MR every harvester has a certain throughput, basically a limit on how much material can go through the machine. Putting on a larger header doesn't make the machine more powerful, it will have to slow down to not exceed its maximum work capacity. You can see this when you open up the debug menu. There you see the base performance, which is defined in the vehicle XML, also calculated in tons per hour. This allows you to calculate the right number when converting your own harvester. There are other changes on how implements work that influence what their performance on the field is, but that is better left to conversion tutorials. It's not that important for gamers just using the mod. Rest assured that even when spreading manure, the speed you can go is not arbitrary. It's based on how much material should go on the ground and how fast the machine can deliver that. The second module changes how you experience the economic part of the game and is optional. If you use this with other gameplay mods, results may vary. Crop yields have been rebalanced. This includes potatoes and sugar beets who have never been that rewarding, but they are now. This is also true for grass and straw and how much you get out of it. The content of bales has been adapted accordingly. Seed density has been changed, so the amount you need per hectare is now closer to reality. This includes the amount of product you need for sprayers. Target amounts for manure and slurry have been changed as well. Because of these changes, market prices needed to be modified and they have been rebalanced to cover costs, helpers and time spent on and off the field. So overall your experience with the gameplay module should be more challenging than Vanilla F17. It is intended to be this way and if you don't want that, you can use MR without it. There are two ways to install this modification. You can find both modules of the mod in the Giants Mod Hub. Just download them and put them in the mod folder of the game. The engine module adds the new physics engine, while the gameplay module, which is optional, rebalances gameplay values. The second method is using an alternative source for both modules, which get updated by Dural on a regular basis. So if you want to use the newest versions, follow the link to the fs-uk.com forum thread in the description, then open the link to Dural's Google Drive. Here he publishes multiple relevant files. You will be interested in the more realistic and gameplay folders. In there you will find the newest zip files you can then just download to the mod folder of the game. Back in game, just activate the mod for your new game or save game and play along. If you want to check if MR is enabled, open up the shop menu and select the tractor category. You should now see an additional MR tag in the vehicle description. We enjoy this mod very much, but as of the making of this video, its conversion to FS19 has not been confirmed. It is of course a lot of work, so any encouragement can help. Until next time.